Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we have the top 10 new free-to-play Steam games of 2021. Now this list features games that have very recently been released on Steam, so no copy-paste list with the same old Dota 2, Warframe, CSGO and so on, and also all these games are across a huge variety of genres so there's something for everyone. Before we start though, only 15% of you guys watching right now are subscribed, so if you don't want to miss out on more videos on free to play games, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons and tell me in the comment section below what free to play games you're playing in 2021. Now let's do something different and start with a quick game in the bonus spot, and that's Krunker.io. The fast paced slide hopping class based first person shooter has finally hit the Steam store and I had to include it in this video. It goes without saying that Krunker.io is one of my favourite games out there right now. The game has incredible movement and shooting mechanics which is backed up by great maps and modes. Krunker also has a ton of community made games from Infection, B-Hop, Parkour and much more, so there's something for everyone. Now 2021 is going to be huge for Krunker, with a fully fledged Rust-like survival mode coming out soon and a new Battle Royale mode too, and this is going to change up the whole game and it's definitely worth getting into. But with that said, enough of the bonus game, let's get straight into the top 10. Chroma Bloom and Blight is a competitive playing card game that has its sights set on shaking up the scene by being a truly free to play card game, with every card and game mode being unlocked from the very start which is awesome. Chroma puts heavy emphasis on its lore and story based gameplay, matches play out as stories which features up the three acts, and while this might be a bit complicated in comparison to Half Zone and so on, this allows the match to develop bit by bit, unlocking the potential of your hero, the main centerpiece which your deck is built around. While Chroma is a game in its early days, it definitely has a lot of potential, especially because everything is unlocked from the start, and that means you don't have to pay or grind like you see in other games like Hearthstone. But with that said, it will be interesting to see where this game goes in the future, and if they can develop more on the story-based gameplay. Now up next, we have the magical Battle Royale game called Spellbreak, a game that very recently hit the Steam store. Now the concept of Spellbreak is interesting. It takes the rather unoriginal idea of Battle Royale and puts a big spin in it, that being the focus on magical combos and unique abilities. Choose from six classes that all have different abilities, but the twist is, is that these abilities upgrade as the game progresses, meaning everybody is kitted out for the final showdown. Throughout the match you can also pick up scrolls to improve your talents and increase your stats with powerful equipment scattered across the map, standard batter our stuff. Now it's a different take on the genre that definitely hit the mark, and you can check it out of course on the Steam platform, but you can also play it on PS4, Xbox One and Switch with crossplay support across all devices. Next up, we have Spellforce 3 vs, the free to play variant of the real time strategy game called Spellforce 3. Now Versus is interesting as it takes part of the base game and puts it into a free to play format, and this is perfect for people who want to sample the experience without coughing up the cash. In this version you're able to go head to head against other players in both unranked and ranked matches, but you can also take on AI enemies in a skirmish battle if you want to learn the ropes. Each match you can choose one of three races, each having their own strengths and weaknesses, and then you hop in game and the match starts. If you love it, you can buy the PvP upgrade which gives you full multiplayer access, which isn't bad at all, or you could buy the full game and it's single player, but that is a little bit expensive, and hey, we're focusing on free to play games here today. But with that said, Spellforce 3, it gives you a great RTS experience in the free to play format, make sure to check it out. Now I featured this game in a previous top 10, but I have to show it off again, and that's Helltaker, the puzzle arcade game with a unique concept, but also a unique soundtrack to boot. Now the concept for Helltaker is fairly simple, complete levels and collect demon girls to expand your harem. While this might sound a bit abnormal, the game is fantastic to play. You have a limited amount of moves per round to complete the puzzle, and trying to crack each level is completely addicting. This game 100% encapsulates what the indie genre is about, an out there idea that is executed to perfection, and on top of that it's made by single developer too, which gives you even more reason to try it out. Now this game is an indie gem on the Steam store, and it's called Vector, the fast paced runner shooter that captures the synthwave aesthetic to a T. The goal is simple, 
Hop in your ship, push the throttle to the max and try to survive as long as possible by annihilating anything that gets in your way. The game throws obstacles, enemies and more at you, but also helps you out with some power ups as well. Graphically, this game is fantastic. Neon lines flying past you as you speed along the highway and the gameplay matches this perfectly as well, with simple but smooth controls meaning you're in full control of your ship. While the game focuses on its great single player, you can also do up to 4 player local multiplayer which is a feature that I haven't seen in a very very long time. Vector also has music importing so you can listen to your own tunes and you can also have YouTube videos playing in the horizon you can import those in as well so this game is just feature packed. Made by a single developer, Vector is truly the complete indie package and is definitely worth a try. Check it out via the link in the description below. Eternal Black Survival is the next generation of Battle Royale, a character based top down game which mixes elements of MOBA and Battle Royale, and on top of that it has an anime inspired art style. That's a lot to take in, but the game in essence is pretty simple. You choose your character and control them like any MOBA with your mouse. You've got your abilities, items, etc. as well that you can go and pick up, but then you have the Battle Royale component where you hop into a vast map and try to defeat everybody to win. You can also craft equipment and upgrade your gear and also fight monsters a game more XP to level up. It really is a weird fusion, but it does kind of work. It takes the great parts of Battle Royale, the great parts of MOBA, smushes them together and you know, it works. I think another reason for its success is there's the tension of it being a Battle Royale, but not the fear of being destroyed in one shot like you can get in traditional Battle Royales like PUBG and Warzone. The MOBA format is also pretty tried and true, so this goes and shakes it up in a really cool way and it's for the better for the genre. Now Eternal Return is bolstered by over 20,000 reviews on Steam and the game has a very positive rating, and that just shows that this game is the new thing that you need to try out. Bless Unleashed is an upcoming MMORPG published by industry veterans NeoWiz, and this game is expected to be something big. Originally touted as an Xbox One exclusive and then promptly released on all current generation consoles in early 2020, Bless Unleashed has been out for a while and has a healthy player base. However, everyone knows that the true MMO experience is on the PC and that's where the upcoming PC release of Bless Unleashed comes in. Now graphically this game is already insane, the power of the PC is going to push that even further and the gameplay seems to be very tight and on point. Now as of recording this game isn't on Steam yet, however it's going to be coming out very early in 2021 and will be an absolute must play for this year. It's got great reviews and it's going to play well on the PC, make sure to check it out when it gets released. Gwent the Witcher is one of the hottest card games out right now, and especially on Steam. Based on the Witcher universe, Gwent sees you battle in fast paced online PvP duels that combine bluffing, on the fly decision making and careful deck construction. Gameplay is very reminiscent of Hearthstone and the like, making it very easy to pick up and play even if you're not a card game fan. Now pay to win is basically non-existent, while you can pay for cards with real life money you can also collect the new cards as you play Gwent, no strings attached. Furthermore, the Steam release features full crossplay and account sync with other versions of the game, meaning you can compete with players on mobile as well as carry over all items and progress between these platforms. This game overall is a ton of fun and the reviews show, with it having a very positive rating and over 15,000 reviews on Steam, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. Now The Supper is a very unique addition to this list. How can a short adventure game go toe to toe with the many AAA games featured here today? But believe me, The Supper delivers a AAA experience in its own unique way. The story is one that needs to be experienced, but simply Mrs Appleton needs to serve a special meal to some distinguished customers, I'll leave the rest for you to see. But the big draw to the supper comes in the form of its graphic design and just overall visuals, which is in the form of beautiful pixel art and it's backed up by some amazing animations. This truly is a work of art and when you go and play through it you will go and see that this pixel art is top notch. I said this in last year's top 10 list about Backbone Prologue and I'll say it for this game right now. The Supper is one of those titles that you just need to get in experience and one I should just go and talk less about. It's a 20 minute commitment that I guarantee you won't forget, make sure to go and check it out and not even if you're interested just go and check it out. 
Our honourable mention for today is Trakea, a first-person puzzle game where you as the player explores a long-forgotten temple, mastering magic to solve puzzles and to uncover the history of the temple's artifact. It's a short, fun and straightforward game inspired by the first-person antics of Portal and the such. Now the puzzles aren't super challenging, but the game is bolstered by its nice soundtrack that crescendos at the right moments, topping off the experience quite nicely. Now in terms of its graphics, Trakea definitely isn't the best, but the puzzles are fun, the experience is great, and it's definitely worth a try, especially if you're a Portal fan. Coming in at the number one spot is Apex Legends, the hugely popular battle royale shooter that very recently hit the Steam store. Now for the longest time, Apex has only been available on Origin. However, late last year, EA released it on the far superior Steam platform, and the game has gone from strength to strength. 2021 has come in with a bang for Apex, with Season 8 releasing a new legend onto the battlefield called Fuse, a new weapon called the 3030 Repeater, and a slew of map changes to the classic King Canyon, and this is only in the first two months of the year, so much more stuff happening throughout the rest of 2021, so Apex Legends really going up and up. If you haven't played Apex Legends, now is the time to do so. It's only been on the Steam store for a short amount of time, but a ton of people are playing it and it's one of the most popular Battle Royale games out right now. Don't miss it. Now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos on free to play games. But other than that, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.